Do you currently utilize Box for your file storage? Let me show you how to integrate it with Jotform Sign. Hey Jotformers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly and I'm currently in the desktop version of my dashboard. And the first thing we need to do is we need to create a signed document. So I'm gonna head up to the top left-hand corner of my screen. We're gonna choose my forms, then we're gonna click on my signed documents. Then from here, we're gonna click on the green create signed document. And if you already have a PDF that you would like to utilize for this sign process, you can always use the upload document option. But for this example, I'm gonna use the templates. And to keep things simple, I'm just gonna utilize this very first one, the one page lease agreement. Now, one thing I like to do whenever I'm starting with a signed document is I always wanna make sure I take a scroll just to see what I'm working with. So I can see here that the tenant or the lease E is in purple but I also saw something up here. So I wanna make sure that all of my fields are assigned to the correct person. And if I'm missing a field, it's very similar to the form builder. We can just click over here to add fields and we can drag in and put this exactly where we need it, like right here. But all this looks good. So I'm gonna go ahead and head up to the settings tabs and then on the far left, integrations. Then up at the top, I'm gonna to go ahead and search for box. Perfect. Next, we need to authenticate our account. And yes, I want to grant access to box. Perfect. Now we need to choose where we want our signed documents to live in our box account. So right here we have the main folder, which is called the clone of the simple. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that clone. So the simple one page lease agreement. And here, right here, it says no folder. I want it to be very specific. I want it to tell me whose folder it is or the leasee's name. So all I need to do is just click on the document fields and I can scroll down and I can choose the tenant. Perfect. So let's go ahead and complete the integration and finish it up. Now all that's left to do is get this document sent and signed. So I'm gonna head up to the send tab. And the first thing we need to do is we need to put our tenant's information in. Now, if I hit send to sign right now, both the landlord and the tenant are going to get this document at the same time to sign. And that's not what I want to happen. I want the landlord to get it first to be able to pre-populate and fill things out. And then once they're done, the leasee will get it so that way they can verify and sign. In order to do this, we just need to click right here on the signing order. And if we need to move people around in the process, we can do that right there. But this is perfect, so I'm gonna go ahead and click send a sign. And let's head to our landlord's email. Next, we just need to review and sign the document. And we can see it automatically pre-populated my information. So just for the sake of time, I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom and do these last two required fields, my signature and the date. Perfect, now let's go ahead and sign and complete and accept and send. Now let's head over to our tenant's email and we'll review and sign document. And again, it went ahead and pre-populated my information. So down to the bottom I go to do our signature and the date, perfect. And we can see right here, sign and complete and accept and send. Now let's head over to box. All right, I'm gonna do a quick refresh. And here is our folder, the simple one page lease agreed template. And here it is, the simple one page lease agreement template. And then we have our leasees information right here. And if we click on it, we get access to the complete document as well as an audit trail. So we get to know exactly when and where this document has been. But it's as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to utilize Jotform Sign with your Box account, let us know. If you like this video and you got some value, make sure you hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on that bell so you get notification every time we put out a video. And I'll see you next time.